Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I am so happy to be back. I have been sick with a terrible cold. I'm so sorry if any of you are experiencing the cold that is currently going around. I feel like so many people have had it or have it now, but I was sick for about two weeks and it was terrible, but I'm finally feeling back and healthy. So I'm so excited to be filming. I apologize if the lighting is a little dark, We've been having terrible weather here and this is the only day that it has been like somewhat a little bit sunny here and there but it's still super cloudy like it was raining probably like 30 minutes ago and now sun kind of has come up so I don't know how dark this video is going to be but I am trying my best working with mother, mother nature has been easy. But today I thought I would do a summer wish list video kind of things that I have at the top of my list for what I would love to get for the summertime, things that I just feel like my closet is missing and would just be key pieces to add to it. So starting off, I've actually been looking for, for one of these for a while now, is a white, a plain white skirt. And I know I have the one from Sew the Label, but it has like a big waistband and it's rouging. And I just want want one with like a simple solid waistband nothing to it and it's like either straight or has pleats in it like my linen one and i kind of want it in like a cotton so i've been eyeing the one actually from uncle studios for a while now if you don't know what uncle studios is it's the brand that allegro allegro shaw who's another youtuber actually founded or it's her brand and i actually saw the skirt when it first came out on one of her style videos and I immediately went down to the links I was like where is that from and then I saw it was her brand and I was like oh my gosh that is a dream but it was always like really expensive its original price is like two I'm gonna say like 228 which I just wasn't I don't know willing to spend that much for a skirt yet I just always thought that I could find one vintage but I just haven't been able to find one but it's currently on sale right now for like 103 which is still a lot but I know the quality is really good and I know it's just going to be a staple in my wardrobe every single summer because I mean it's just a white plain pleated skirt so I don't know I haven't decided whether I'm going to bite the bullet and purchase it or attempt to find another one similar for a more affordable price I just haven't been able to find one and that's the one I just keep coming back to so we'll see how it goes we'll see what I end up doing but I just love it I also love the one that Sophia Richie actually wore her wedding weekend from Posey I think that's how you pronounce it but first it's expensive it's um way out of my price like budget that I want to spend on a skirt and then second of course it's like sold out everywhere because she wore it that weekend and now like anything she wore is sold out or back ordered so I don't know I really like the idea of a pleated like plain white skirt I just think that's such a classic piece for the summer I also found this one from Reformation and this I think they this is new because I've never seen this on their site before and I love this dark olive green color olive green is probably one of my favorite colors I love it and I just think this would be a little bit different for me it's still sticking to the like earthy neutral color palette but I just think this would be so pretty with maybe like a black top to go with it I don't know why that combination right now is like I just feel like would look so good and I love olive green in the summertime with a nice tan I just am really drawn to this really pretty olive green color and it also just came out in a white and it is a little bit more expensive than the uncle studio one it's 178 but the uncle studio one is on sale and this one's not so I don't know what I'm gonna do I haven't decided but those are the two skirts that I'm loving the most and have found that I'm like okay these are the ones that fit my idea that I have in my head the most so let me know which one you like better I just can't decide 
Another thing from Reformation that I've actually loved for a while now is these linen pants and linen pants are actually really big right now. I feel like everybody is wearing linen again or not again, but everybody is just like drawn to a good linen pant at the moment. And these actually I've loved ever since Reformation has come out with them. I've seen them like I feel like they've been around for like two years and I just never like purchased them just because they were 158 and I just was like I feel like I can find a more affordable price point but all the ones that I've tried that are more affordable just don't lay and don't fit like these would and or just like are almost there but then they added some detail that I'm like no I just want it simple I just want a simple drawstring linen pant I feel like that's happens all the time with like so many different pieces of clothing. I'm like, I love this and then they added a detail that didn't have to happen and I'm like, why? I'm like, it would be so pretty just like this without that detail added to the piece. But I mean, other people obviously like that, so it's just me. But I usually would go for the white linen pant, but for some reason this black linen pant I'm just so drawn to. I don't know if it's the outfit that they have um, styled it with, like the beige top with the sunglasses and the sandals. I just think this is such a chic look. And I feel like I would just throw these on so much in the summertime, especially on the days that you don't feel like wearing anything that's not comfortable, but you still want to look appropriate and put together. These would be the pants that I would grab. Like, key pant for the summertime. Key comfortable pant. They would just be really comfortable. I don't know where I was going with the word key. Anyway, I want them. I love them. And I've been wanting them for actually for a while now. Another piece of clothing that actually is new on my wish list is this dress. And I originally saw it from Margot. I feel like it's Margot Lee. I might be totally wrong. But she's a popular YouTube on YouTuber. And she just posted like a pack with me because she's going on a bunch of different chip trips. And she posted in this beautiful dress by Hill House. And it just was stunning. I feel like the picture on the actual website doesn't do it justice. Do, doesn't do it justice. Yeah. Because on the video where she was wearing it, you could see it move and flow. And it was just such a beautiful, stunning dress. And I just feel like in the summertime with like a pair of sandals with your hair slicked back in a bun would look so beautiful. I'm like so obsessed. This is probably like my top dress of the summer that I really want. It is stunning. I just like, you have to go watch that portion of her video because she looked gorgeous in it. And I love the sleeves. I love how it drapes. I love the low back. Like everything about this dress I am obsessed with, except for the price. The price, I wish it was more affordable but it is absolutely beautiful and I feel like this is such a dress that you can dress up dress down there's just so many ways you can wear it I think she even like belted it and wore a jacket over top of it but I feel like personally I would just wear it plain simple by itself shocker I'm sure um and just with some sandals I just think it would look so beautiful Another thing that I have realized that I'm missing in my closet are really good quality tanks. I have so many like tees or long sleeves or things like that, but I don't really have many tanks other than my two from Durf Avenue. And I just feel like I'm missing that. And I really want to invest in some good quality tanks for the summer just because I feel like I live in like a tee or a tank with jeans and sandals or shorts or a skirt. So I have two that I've been really loving. One is from Uncle Studios actually. It's called, I think it's called their baby tee. And it's just a simple white square neck tee, uh, tank, not a tee, tank. And it just looks so nice. It just looks like the perfect tank for the summer. The quality looks nice, it looks thick. So that is definitely one that's on my wish list and then this one also from saint agni it's black and i love the square neckline i think square neckline is so flattering i love it on me i think it really flatters my body really nicely 
So this one, I love the rib. I like how it looks like a thick material and I just know it's gonna be really good quality and last so long. And yes, it is expensive for a tank, but when you think about tanks and tees, you are constantly, or at least I am, I am constantly wearing them. Like pretty much almost every single day, I have a version of a tank or a tee on. So when you think about you, the use and the wear that you get out of them, you don't want one that's gonna wear so easily and get old and then you're just gonna have to repurchase it over and over because I have done that in the past and I end up just spending more money because I'm just constantly repurchasing a white tee. And instead of just purchasing one that is a little bit more expensive but will last me forever. I am looking at the um, ones also from Redone because I heard that's also a really good brand to buy tees tanks from. So. Yeah, that's definitely on my wish list for the summertime or just like my wish list, not even for the summer, but in general because I wear them all year round. Another thing that is on my wish list for the summer is a really nice swimsuit. I struggle, I don't know why, I struggle so much with finding a swimsuit that I like. Either I like the cut, the amount of coverage it's giving me, the color, the shape, everything. It is so hard to find a good swimsuit. And it's also so hard to find an affordable swimsuit that is still good quality. I need, I swear I need to research about how to make a swimsuit or something like that because I just need to understand why swimsuits are so expensive because I don't get it. Like, I don't get how a swimsuit can be that much for so little fabric. But again, I don't know the process behind making a swimsuit, so I don't know, like, how hard it is or, like, the fabric and the material, like, the difference than actual, like, shirt or pants, like, that kind of fabric. But I really need to look because I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I'm just like, how is that that much? So I actually, and I don't know why I haven't looked at them before, but I've been looking at skim swimsuits and I am so eager to test it out because I love skin, Skims Intimates. I have their bras and their underwear and I love how comfortable they are. They fit really well. They shape your body really nicely. So I feel like why wouldn't the swimsuits do the same? So. And they have really simple styles and simple colors and nice coverage on like one or two. They also have the really like thong bikinis, but then they have the ones that are a little bit cheeky, but not too cheeky. So I really just want to get one for number one, one to test out to see how I like it. And then one just for the summertime, just to have like a one that I like know that will fit and I'll like it and I'll feel comfortable in because it is so hard. I struggle with it every year and I usually just end up barring, barring my little sisters when I go on like trips and vacations because she lives in Florida and that girl has so many swimsuits. It's insane, like it's actually a problem, but it helps me because then I just borrow some, but she is definitely more into like the color and the pattern. So. Every time I'm in a swimsuit of hers, I'm like, this is so not me. So I just want like a solid black or a solid like chocolate brown or color to have for the summertime, especially because I'm going to the beach this Memorial Day weekend. And I just want one that I can like count on. So that's definitely on my wish list and I'll let you know. And also let me know if you've tested out skims and how you feel about it because I've actually done a lot of like research, I've uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos and they seem like they're good, but then also I see mixed reviews, so I don't know. I don't know what to trust. Moving on to shoes, another pair, or not another pair, a pair of shoes that I feel like my wardrobe is missing. It's a really nice pair of sandals. I feel like I have the like flip flops, I want a nice like chunky sandal that will be better for, I don't know, dressing up a casual look instead of wearing like my Havana flip flops or my teak flip flops. 
So I've been looking at A. Emery because I absolutely just love their shoes in general. Their designs are just beautiful and the quality of the shoes is incredible. My cousin actually has a pair and she's like obsessed with them. So I know the quality is just as good as like they look and the price point. But these I've been eyeing for a while because they give off the chunky sandal look but they're not like too intense so I feel like it's a good starting point for me because I am used to my flip flops very simple uh, not really chunky on my foot but I really just want to I don't know I've been drawn to the more like chunky sandal look so I feel like these will be a really nice pair to try and see if I like it I just think they look so pretty the black leather is absolutely stunning so yeah, these are on my wish list for the summer just because I feel like I just don't have, I either wear flip flops or boots, like, or sneakers or heels. Like I don't have like a nice sandal to wear in the summer. Moving on to accessories. First, I'm really in the hunt for another good pair of sunglasses. I have my ones from Warby Parker and I live in those all the time. They're the only ones I wear, the only ones that I feel like look really nice and I like the look of them on my face so and I got them for Christmas this year and I'm like obsessed with them but I want a pair of like a tortoise shell or a brown because the Warby Parker ones I have is black so I just want the two like I feel like two different colored like the brown and the black and then you're like set and then eventually I can venture out into different ones but honestly I can't see myself venturing out into other colors besides uh, black and brown but anyway these from DMY by DMY I've actually been seeing a lot of influencers or seeing a lot of people wear this brand and they just look so good on I am obsessed with them I saw Matilda Durf wear what a pair like the oval shape in one of her TikToks and it looked so good. They were like the perfect oval shaped sunglasses if you have been looking for one. But I also saw Ella Rose wear the rectangle shaped sunglasses from them. And those are the ones that have caught my eye just because I really like a rectangle shape on my face. I feel like it fits my face frame nicely. And these, I just love how small the frame because I don't want something like so big. I like a smaller framed sunglass or a pair of sunglasses and these I just feel like they look so good the only problem with them they're so expensive they're $2.50 for a pair of sunglasses which I just it's it's crazy I think but I don't know I feel like I might save up to purchase them just because I know they're going to be really nice and I love the look of them they're like perfect like perfect I'm obsessed with them they look so good and they look so good on her as well so these are definitely on my wish list for the summer moving on to jewelry i have been really into the chunky jewelry look or not really chunky jewelry yeah i guess some of these are chunky but like more bold more of a statement piece of jewelry than my simple dainty jewelry that i usually wear I just feel like in the summer sometimes it's nice to have like a statement earring or a statement necklace when you're wearing something so simple. I just feel like it helps bring the outfit together a lot and just looks really really good. So I've been eyeing these earrings that are from Heaven Mayhem and they're like this, these gold, they call them bean gold, that's the name of them, but they're almost like a teardrop and they just are so stunning. I feel like these would look so beautiful with that dress, the cream drape dress with my hair up in like a bun. Like imagine, so chic, so beautiful, I'm like obsessed. So these I've been loving and keeping my eye on for the summer just because I really want some more statement earrings to go with my very simple outfits to wear to kind of just dress them up and kind of pull the outfit together. This necklace I am obsessed with, which might be a shock. Also, I feel like this video is so dark, so I'm so sorry. It is so gloomy and gray outside, but I apologize. I hope it's not too bad. 
but this necklace I love like absolutely love it is expensive but I feel like I might be able to find this vintage I'm actually going to New York this weekend to pick up my vintage dresser that I finally found I'm gonna show it in a different video but I cannot wait to get my hands on it but I feel I really want to go to some of my vintage shops that I love in New York and I'm gonna keep my eye out for a necklace similar similar to this because I feel like I might be able to find it I don't know but for some reason I really cannot tell you why I love this I just am obsessed with it I just think it's so cool so different for me I love the black beads I love it with this white button down I also think it would be so cute with like the white pleated skirt with like a simple white tank and then that necklace to make the statement I just think it's beautiful like absolutely beautiful I'm like so obsessed with it and then the last thing for jewelry wise that I really want to try out this summer is silver jewelry I feel I've talked about this before as like a trend how silver is just really big right now and I even have been drawn to silver hardware and I usually am not at all I usually only like gold on me but weirdly randomly I'm loving the silver maybe because I'm seeing it more often because it's super popular right now but I really want to try out some silver pieces of jewelry since I'm loving it but I don't want to invest in really nice jewelry just in case I like don't actually love it or it's just like a phase or a short trend that I'm just into so I've been looking actually at anthropology and I feel like they have some really nice looking earrings for a more affordable price first these classic hoop earrings I like how they're more of a chunky hoop they're not super thin and I just feel like these would be really pretty in the summer with a dress or a skirt or just like an outfit with your hair up or down I just love it and there it's $38 which I think is a more reasonable price for a pair of hoops that you know are gonna last a little bit longer than a pair that you might get off of Amazon or I don't know H&M or something like that they, these I feel like will be able to last maybe a little bit longer for still a really good price and then these, which I think these are, I know there was a pair of earrings from Anthropology that was super popular because they were like the Bottega dupe or like dupes for a Bottega, the Bottega earrings. But I don't know if these are the exact ones, but these really remind me of the gold pair that I previously showed, but I really like the silver. So I'm thinking about getting these as well. And these are 44, so a little bit more expensive but still a good price to test out silver earrings in case I end up like not actually loving it on me and then I'll just give it also to just like one of my friends or my sister or somebody who likes wearing silver like my cousin Carly loves silver so I might just give it to her but yeah I really really love these so much and I feel like these would be really a nice pair for me to test out but those are all the pieces that are on my wish list. Another thing that I've just been eyeing and looking at but haven't found like a particular piece is a good pair of white denim straight leg jeans for the summer. I love my still here ones but they're more of a bone like cream color. They're not like a bright like white. So I really want to find a pair of like a good white pair that fits really well that are comfortable that are a nice straight leg so if you know of any that you really like definitely let me know because i'm definitely keeping my eye out for a pair i just think i love white jeans and i think they look so good in the summer obviously so i really want to get my hands on a pair of those i don't know i might go while i'm in new york pop into a few stores I also randomly I know I'm just like dragging this video out I feel like I'm just having a conversation now but I randomly also want to try go to J Crew because they are making a comeback I saw a lot of people wearing J Crew on TikTok and I love it somebody wore these linen like trouser pants and I'm obsessed with them so if you haven't looked at J. Crew in a while, definitely go and check them out because they are making a statement. I think they changed their CEO or somebody. 
so they're like re they're like in a rebranding time or something like that because their clothes are so good they are still expensive but i feel like they do a lot of like sales and deals and things like that but anyway i am just rambling on so i hope you guys like this video i am so excited to be back and filming for you guys i hopefully the weather will be better soon it's just been so gross and it's supposed to be it's supposed to rain the next like three days so i apologize if my videos are dark from here on out for a little bit because i just want to film and make content for you guys it's just so hard with the weather and the lighting but hopefully this wasn't that bad but yeah love you guys see you in my next one bye